Hello and welcome to this video. I've got a view setup which I am calling on the home page and here I've just included the CSS that we created in the last project. So let's uh, begin the very basics of Tailwind. So I want to create a div and I want it a width. So in Tailwind we can give a width by using W hyphen. After that we have various options so let's uh, go with w4 and if i hover over it it will tell me that w4 corresponds to width 1 rem remember in tailwind css all the widths are represented in rem i'm also going to give it a style with the background color remember i'm just using the inline css this is uh, not how you specify the background color in tailwind we will come to that in the later section but uh, this is just for demonstrator purposes if i reload this page and i see that i have a div and it has a background color of blue which I have given with the inline CSS but it does tell me that it has a width of 1 rem or 4 pixels let's uh, define some other classes as well we can go for w8 we have w12 and we can also go for w16 let us uh, reload now and we see that how the width is increasing for each and every div based upon the CSS property, CSS class that we have given. Well, we can, we also have other options. We can do 1 by 2. So this would take half the screen width. We can do 1 by 3. This would take 1 third. And we can even do 2 by 3. Let's see them and there we go if you want we can also give div with full and it will take the full width and there we go we can check other options that are available to us and you would see that we have we not only have this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We also have various grids available like 1 by 4, 2 by 4, 3 by 4, and so on up to 12. So we can use all these CSS classes provided by the Tailwind to fix the width of a div. That the width can be controlled from the HTML itself. All the names are very, very logical. And we do not need to define any CSS classes in our CSS file. The existing CSS classes serves our purpose very well. Same way like we have for W hyphen for width. For height we have H hyphen. And again we have these options. We do not have 1 by 2 or 1 by 3 but we do have H full and H screen. So let's uh, try a few of them. This I'm going to give H4 so it will represent a square. Same thing I can do with this one H12. And this I would give H screen so it would have the height equal to the screen width, equal to the screen of the device. So let's reload them and we see this one was 4 this one was 8 this one was 16 and this one took the height of the screen so that is how we can specify the width and the height in tailwind css in the next video we will see how we can set the background color as well as the text color for these divs